The escort carrier was first conceived as a cheap way to provide anti-aircraft and anti-submarine cover to convoys carrying war materials and troops across the Atlantic. As the war in the Pacific had gathered pace, a new role was found for the escort carriers. They could relieve the fast fleet carriers of the task of giving air support to amphibious landings. By the end of the war, more than a hundred escort carriers would be built, almost half of them of the Casablanca class. Displacing 7,800 tons, the Casablanca carriers had a top speed of just over 19 knots and could carry 28 aircraft. Unlike the fleet carriers, they had no armour, double hulls or anti-torpedo blisters. As a result, because their official designation was CVE, their crews called them combustible, vulnerable, and expendable. Eighteen escort carriers would take part in the Leyte landings. Of these, fourteen would be Casablanca class vessels.